from the ashes to school the masses. Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Scholars of Wrestling Show, episode 110. I am your man behind the microphone, Scholar Jeff. To my left is Scholar Tarek. Welcome to WrestleMania, edition and, of the Scholars of Wrestling Show. And to his left is Scholar Brian. WrestleMania, baby! Woo! Ooh, WrestleMania, WrestleMania baby! Woo! Hey, I thought we were saving that for the end of the show. We can do it then, too. But okay. yes... It is time for WrestleMania 32. Oh boy. I was a little hesitant at first, but right now, as of this recording, on Thursday, this is looking like a pretty good card to me. A pretty decent card. Some matches are like better it. than others. I, I, I like it. It's the same thing as last year. We went in thinking it was going to be crap. Let's see what we I got. I didn't think it was going to be crap last year. Well, anyway, this this is a WrestleMania card. There's so much into it. So, screw it. Let's just dive right in. WrestleMania 32, let's get to predicting, boys. Careful, fool. That's the shallow end. Because, you know, pre-show. Okay, shallow end. So, let's start, <laughs> so let's start making our way in, getting used to the temperature. It's WrestleMania <laughs> nice. 32. First up, we have... Quit your laughing. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> First off on the pre-show, or at least I think it's on the pre-show, we have Kalisto versus Ryback for the U.S. title. Yes, that's on the pre-show. Okay, disappointingly enough. But no, you know what? You know what? Not disappointingly. I don't want to see this. Ma- this match has no business being on WrestleMania itself. But you know what? It's by the time this comes on, I'm gonna be so eager into the night that I'm like, okay, I want to see some wrestling. Let's do it. And you know what? We're going. We're getting Kalisto versus Ryback. I like these guys. The only reason I say disappointingly is just because I kind of want to see all the title matches, well, at least all the ones that are available, tag team title matches, uh, mm-hmm. on the card itself. Granted, yes, this isn't John Cena versus Rusev like it was last year. No big names, but hey, it's the United States title, and we all know how I feel about it. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's going to be a fun match, and hell, they're... First match in the World Heavyweight Title Tournament before Survivor Series was actually a really good match. So I'm not going to expect anything less from these guys. But prediction-wise, I'm just going to say Kalisto holds on to the title because really, why does Ryback need this? Okay, that's... My thing is, I think they're going to give it to Ryback because he just made the turn. And normally, that kind of thing. And they're saying they're pushing him to big things. Start that off as a United States title win. Either that or he loses and just pounds the crap out of Kalisto going full heel. That's what I'm thinking he's going to do. At the end of the match. But I, my thing is, I don't think Kalisto should have been United States champion in the first place. I never did. So, and as much as I don't like Ryback right now, if you're going to start him, if if you just turned him heel... And he's already going after a title. Give it to him. Ryback for the win for me. Honestly, so I'm going to be the tiebreaker then. Uh, As we all turn to you and just scooch in a little closer. What do you think? (laughs) Honestly, for this one, especially given this position on the card, I'm going to go with Kalisto for this one. With the caveat that, again, they probably go, are going to want to make Ryback look strong as well. So maybe there's probably going to be a beatdown. But I've got to go with my gut in this case. Since I don't have much else to go on, I'm going to go with Kalisto just because of, you know, that's what my gut says. The timing's too right. I think it's, I think he needs a little bit more time with the belt. Let me put it this with way. A, with an additional beatdown later. Let me put it this way. If this was on the main card, I probably would lean towards Ryback. But the fact that, yeah, it is on the pre-show, it, no one's really going to be like, oh, we got it, Ryback needs to win the title. And... I just I just feel like the WrestleMania pre-show is different from most other pre-shows, which is why I wouldn't be surprised if a title changes hands. On any other show, and on any other pay-per-view, any other night, I would say, yes, I agree with that, but this is WrestleMania. Anything goes at any time. So you I'm, know what? So I'm That's saying... That's a fair point. That <laughs> is a fair point. I can't disagree with you there, but in this particular moment, I'm, I'm just going to follow my gut. And and I'm just going to go with Kalisto. 
I'm just going with the fact that, yeah, it's WrestleMania. WrestleMania they like to have the good guys win at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually keep this feud going. Yeah. After, so. Oh, definitely. they would have to. I, I they would have to either way. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, title changes hands the next night on Raw. That, you know what? That's a possibility, too. I wouldn't be shocked on the slightest. All right. Next match. All right. Speaking of which, I think we're going to the main show, unless I'm missing something here. Yeah. Three matches on the pre-show. Four. Okay. Well, no, they moved the they moved Andre. One up. They moved the one okay. up. Yeah. All right. Well, no matter where it got moved to, it's the next one on my personal list: the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Just give me a projected one. Oh, what do you God. think? I know it's got this one's. Do we even tough. know who's in it? The only confirmed people that are in it: Social Outcast, Big Show, Kane, Darren Young, Damian Sandow, our boy. Uh, I think that's it. At least, to my knowledge, that's it. For the confirmed stars. Unless the Wyatt family are involved, then Braun Strowman wins, no matter what. Of the confirmed, I can see them giving it to Kane. I can see that, too. I can I can see them giving it to Kane because they've been built... For the Andre the Giant Mat- Memorial Battle Royal... You, they've been building it up as a social outca- social outcasts aren't going to win. Are you out of your fucking mind? No, but big they're not going to give it to the Big Show twice. Definitely not. Okay. If Mark Henry comes in, I can see them giving it to him too. Yes. It, to me, it's between Mark Henry and Kane. And because he's a confirmed name already, I'm going to give I'm going to give it to Kane. I'm going to have a little fun with this. I'm going to give two choices. For the confirmed names, yes, I'm going with Kane too, but I'm gonna throw a little wild card in here, and I'm gonna say, and I'm by wild card, I mean wild card. But mainly, I'm just gonna stick with Kane. But this is just a fun one. I'm just gonna say El Dandy. No, I'm not gonna say El Dandy. <laughs> God damn you! You just took my, you just took my glory and just about, stomped it on the I ground. I was it. about to do the same thing. I hate, I hate you both right now. You know what? We haven't talked about El Dandy in a while. I'll accept it. No, really. God damn in you both. Ser- in all seriousness. In all seriousness, <laughs> now. In all seriousness, I just want to... It's going to be fun. Just out of no, out of nowhere. It, hint, oh, hint. Hint, yeah. hint. Uh, a returning Randy Orton. Like I said, by wild, I mean wild card. We'll call that a wild card because but I but, hate to parade on your parade, but it's already been confirmed that he's returning in the summer. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Right. That I did. That's so, right. I'm glad I threw him in as a wild card. But yeah. all in all... For all the people, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the, my favorite demon, Kane. All right. For my prediction, I'm go. I think I'll do the same as you. I'll go with El realistic. Dandy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, and that'll be great. But but he already uses El Dandy. Yeah. Up. <laughs> I only, I only get one. To be fair, I only yeah, get one. I got one, and I just threw it at you. All right. Brian, as far as my one. realistic pick, I'm gonna. I'm my gut tells me again. I'm going with a gut pick. My gut says Mark Henry's going to take this one and they're just going to use that to send him out on. My pie in the sky pick. The Shockmaster. No, actually I'm Okay, gonna... that took your El Dandy pick. <laughs> that, that was exactly why, because I'm like, I can't say El Dandy after these two. Actually, <laughs> I was going to say Damian Sandow. Just because he got hosed last year. And I think if he actually pulled it off, he would actually get... He would get a cheer, a big and that, time cheer, and that would be fine oh, if, if he actually was ever on main TV, <laughs> except to, to be one of the people's like, oh yeah, we're in the match too. Hi guys. Yeah, but, yeah like you know, last I, year, it made sense for him to be in the end because he had that big Miz now story. He had just turned on the Miz, so it was like it made sense for him to have that big I could be WrestleMania pro- showing, but. He's been off the TV since then. You see him once every blue moon, and that's why he's calling it a pie in the sky out there pick. Right. It's it's one it's one of those like would it be nice? Absolutely. We, he's he's the patron saint of our show. Of course it would be. Of course it would be awesome. But yeah. <laughs> but on the same time, in WWE's logic, I can see them making the move where. This could actually very well be the catalyst that they use to get him back on TV as a as the winner of the Memorial 
the Andre Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I I, I, I want to have yeah. your optimism. I can I really see do. him in the okay, final. It's four. It's an outside chance. I can see him in the final four. It's an Definitely. outside chance. I hope Definitely. so. We, I, I hope so that he would make some kind of impact. Hell, I want to. If he gets eliminated, I want the the crowd to basically pull a Daniel Bryan, what they did when he faced Sheamus for the eighteen seconds. I just want people to just start chanting Sandow, basically canceling out the sort of like canceling out what's going on in the match. I would love to see that. Even, though, the problem... even though he has been off TV for a while, when he was on TV for that tag team uh, number one contender match, he was cheered. Everyone wanted, still wanted him, just as if he was there last week. I'm sorry, you brought up the 18 second match, and I'm and I was just I'm I get the grin. Just, just remembering the reactions of the people around me. I went into the kitchen for some pizza. By the time I came back, the match was over. I was like, <laughs> I, was I remember like, sitting there like, there is no way this is real. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa they got some balls on them, man. The, o- the only prediction I got wrong that year. Uh, the only prediction yeah. I got wrong. I'm gl- let's just be glad it's all in the past, okay? And hell, it did. On that. 18 seconds brought him into the stratosphere, so... Yes, it did. Screw it, right? Just so it worked it out in the way, end. But hey, <laughs> worked out in the end. <laughs> that's a digression for another yep. time. There's about a million different ways to go. Hey, we'll see how, how the dice rolls in. We want in, Sandow. We do want Sandow. In the meantime, we're also going to be getting the New Day versus the League of Nations for... Maybe the tag titles? It, What's going on here? I, it turns no, out it's, it's a, not. It, it's it's a four on three. They were talking about having it for the tag titles, sort of like the free bird rule. Yeah. But it, it ended up not happening. And If the titles aren't on the line, the League of Nations wins. Uh, yes. Wait, wait, say that again? If the titles are not on the line, the League of Nations wins. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Because because the New Day, when they've had matches, have been winning them all. The beat down, the massive beat down from the League of Nations was after one of their matches. They've defended the tag team titles against them twice. Okay, if it's not for the tag team titles, the League of Nations needs a win for the feud to mean anything at all. I'll go with that. I can't argue with I that I can't either. argue with that either. So instead, let me, let's put this a different way. All the deer cheats are reporting and all the evidence is pointing to the WWE is now fully behind the New Day. They got big plans for them. If they're t- taking the belts off of, away from the equation on, on WrestleMania, my guess is they've got something in mind. The question I have for you, almost like a... Let's consider this a small scholar's quick talk. Assuming that there is a fourth man or someone else makes an appearance, that there are a lot of rumors going around that there were that there's going to be some surprise appearance during this match. Who's going to be the fourth man? This is if, news if to me. A, so if there's a fourth man, it's a rumor I could going see, around. If it's, it's if yet. there's a fourth man, I could see that being where Mark Henry comes in in WrestleMania. There, that's a possibility. I could, He's I had, he see had, that. He has and had if, a pass with them. And if that's the case, strike my pick from the record books. Because if if there's a fourth man, if there's a special fourth man, okay, the New Day will win. That's just the way it goes. Unless Chris Jericho is your fourth, is your extra man, you will win. <laughs> okay, so. If it's as it stands now, I think it is. I don't think they're gonna add another guy. If it, they've been putting too much of this stays, as a handicap match. If it stays as it is now, the League of Nations will win. If there's a special fourth man, the New Day will win. I do not think that they will bring in the special fourth man. Therefore, um, League of Nations wins. Okay. Do fool. You, did you say that uh, you think Mark Henry's going to win? No. Or Mark Henry's going to come in and be the fourth man? No, I don't. I said there was not going to be no fourth man. Okay. Even if, Do you even want to put in a prediction? I would say Mark Henry is the most logical since he actually had a past 
with uh, the New Day once before, and it would be a good send-off, but I don't think, from what I'm hearing, their entrance is, one of them is going to, probably Xavier Woods is going to be riding up, coming down on a horse with a horn on it to be a unicorn. That would be amazing. At first, I was gonna say they would just have slick and run interference and just be able to hit them with like something. No, they're they're gonna they're planning on having a special entrance for the new. But you day. know what that is. Way, and the that problem is with better. recent years is that when it, when somebody has a special entrance, they lose. <laughs> so that's it. So that's <laughs> yeah, that's true. I wish you were. That's what, you were yeah, wrong. Rusev came out last year in a, with a tank, and he lost. And but on this on the flip side, last year. Triple H also came out with Terminator face and Well that's Triple H. That's Triple H, it's different. How's it different? The owner of the H. damn company. Every every time he comes out it's a special Come on, when Triple H is in a storyline where he's obviously the bad guy, he ends up winning. I mean look what he did with Booker T years ago. Well that was just a yeah. travesty. Just, just so you yeah, have it's Rusev, because it's Triple H. You have Simply Bray Pro- Wyatt. But does Undertaker count as a special entrance? No, no, because he always does. Because he, he, no, he always has, does that. He, he walks a into a board in- meeting. Bong. Okay, <laughs> yeah. about twenty minutes later. Yeah, they have to. They have to cut. That's the board. our Undertaker. Yeah. So anybody who isn't a main eventer who gets a special entrance loses at WrestleMania. So. If if the New Day is having a special entrance, that's the impact they're gonna have on WrestleMania. Wait, did uh, what's his name? Lou? Oh my God, why am I blanking on his name? Uh, wow. Uh, somebody when he came out with a bunch of mamas. Oh, uh, Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay. He didn't have a match. That was he just, just him randomly dancing with, with a, a bunch of grandmas. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> with a bunch of mamas. <laughs> with a bunch yeah, of mamas. mamas. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, League of Nations. League of Nations, okay. <laughs> you guys are weird. That's right. I pulled out somebody called my mama. <laughs> hey, I, Hell, lo- I actually, to be fair, I love that theme music. Hey, so do I. Hell, I act- during that segment, I actually called my mom. So did I. <laughs> I think we all called our moms. Call mom. It's like, what? Hey, sorry, Jeff, why are like, you calling me? Sorry. It's because Brodus Clay told me to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, who's Brodus Clay? No Two-way one. question. He keeps saying like, it over who's... and over and over again. Man. Well, I was like, wait, I didn't even get a who's Brodus Clay. It's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> it's like, he keeps oh, he keeps saying it over and over and over again. It's like subliminal messages go into my brain. I gotta call my mama. <laughs> or maybe that's just a message for Shelton Benjamin. Oh, oh boy, oh, I went there. Sean Benjamin's mama. Uh, references. <laughs> Speaking of references, yeah, we gotta move on. <laughs> Let's please. Yeah, next up, next match, we've got the Usos versus the Dudleys for no titles or whatever. <sighs> the Usos versus Usos. the Dudleys. Yeah, for no I, think we, I think we can all agree that the Usos are gonna for take a, this one for a feud that. Even WWE creative forgot about it. Like, oh yeah, this this feud actually still exists. Oh, yeah, do the these... Dudley boys go through tables? I think so. I think yes, so. they do. Yes, Moving they do. on. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. it's such a shame. All right, let's move on to something good. Let's mo- go for the Intercontinental Title match. We have. Let's see if I got this right. We have Owens versus Ryder versus Stardust versus Ziggler versus Sami Zayn versus Miz versus Sin Cara. That's right. Take your pick. This, for me, is great because you can continue the Kevin Owens-Sami Zayn feud. Okay. Kevin Owens can retain his Intercontinental title, and then they can fight for it throughout the summer. If it was Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, at this point, I think that Sami Zayn would have to win. At the, in a singles match because of all the build-up of, of Kevin Owens cost, almost costing Sami Zayn his career. Now, this, this can be like Kevin Owens cheap shot Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's about to grab the title and, and uh, it's like CM Punk and Mr. Kennedy in the Money in the Bank match in 2007. Okay, he's about to grab the title, and then Mr. Kennedy comes in with the cheap shot with the ladder, and then they feud throughout the summer. So I can see that being what happens here. Sami Zayn's about to grab the title, and then gets cheap shotted by Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens gets retains the title, and then they fight, and then they, they can carry on 
the feud so much longer than if Sami Zayn just comes into WrestleMania one on one and wins. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this is the way that they did it so that Kevin Owens can retain and then and just add another cog to the storyline of he keeps of of Sami Zayn being he keeps fucking me over. <laughs> All right, I've got another. I've got a variant to this. It's got... so I'm so I'm going Kevin Owens. That's my pick. Okay, I've got a different idea here. I think it's going to result in someone's going to be climbing the ladder. Kevin Owens is going to be climbing the ladder, looking to knock him off. Sami Zayn immediately interferes, takes out Kevin Owens, leaving the other guy to climb the ladder. As soon as he grabs the title, your new Intercontinental Champion, Zack Ryder. Bold. <laughs> Just because of how my outspoken he's been and how, all the spots he's been getting beforehand, originally I was going to say, okay, there's obviously setting up Sami Zayn to... And why is he getting wins feud. over Chris Jericho? Yeah, because he obviously they want to make him a big deal. But at the same time, the reason they're pushing this so hard, I think, is because obviously they want to set up the Sami Zayn-Kevin Owens feud. But the quest, as soon as it occurred to me, you don't necessarily need the Intercontinental title to do it. It's it's enough of a blood feud as it is. I just feel like this was this was all because of a title in the first place. So I think that it would. I disagree. I th- I th- this was all from NXT because of a title in the first place. Back in the day, in other promotions, sure. But okay, which they also but, expanded upon to keep it going, and then it got very, very yeah, personal. Because of the way that they've been doing it in the WWE and NXT, not counting all the, all the blood feud that's been going on for years from ROH and other promotions, okay? The way they've been doing it in the WWE, it's all based off of... the I won... Sami Zayn wins the NXT title. Kevin Owens immediately turns on him because he's a prize fighter. He's trying in to in Kevin Owens' mind. In Sami Zayn's mind, that was my friend betrayed I, I just, me. How dare you? I feel like it means. Spot. I feel like this particular story that they're doing right now means more. And and really, I want to see the. I want to see the Intercontinental title build more prestige. And if and if a and if a feud of that level is based around the Intercontinental title, all the more power to it. I just feel like they're adding in... I just feel like they're adding in these other guys to supplement what everybody wants to see in the first place, which is Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, but they don't want to do it at WrestleMania because then they'd be backed into a hole. Right, which is why I'm saying... That in order to keep this feud going, which it by all means should, it doesn't necessarily need to be for the title right now just because of how personal that they made it. So that's why you put it on Zack Ryder, who seems to have a lot of, a much, much more increased momentum going in. I feel that. You keep, you keep the going, you keep the momentum going on the Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens feud. Keep it going off and on throughout the year. And then by the time next year's WrestleMania rolls around, then you inject the title into the mix. Or at the very least, at SummerSlam. But if you can easily extend this for much longer than just this WrestleMania, I, th- I feel that hot-shotting the title to them right now could be a potential misstep. I'm not saying for sure that it is. But I do think that if they really want to prolong this feud and make it really epic and bring it to the WWE stage... This is just one way that they could do it. And I think that chances I, I'm, chances are good, or at least the very least plausible, that this is one way they could do it. Fool, you're shaking your head like, no, you don't agree. What At do all. <laughs> I'm just going to say right now, I honestly hated everything you just said, Fool. I hated it. Okay, how would you do it? <clears throat> More towards what he is, because the way they've been booking Kevin Owens is that he's a prize fighter. And for him, the Intercontinental title is his top prize. Right. So the one thing to have Sami Zayn 
try and steal from him is his prize, which is the Intercontinental Championship. I just don't... Which does add more to the feud because it's something that Sami Zayn can take away to Kevin Owens because he knows it's right. something he cherishes more than anything. Right, that's what I'm saying. But giving it to Zack Ryder is quite possibly just no. I just... just I don't agree with that point. at all. You just said... Hot shotting. While you were explaining that, something about hot shotting the title. But, Only in the and, sense that I felt that and when it comes to Sami Zayn, I think it could be could have could be done better. I'm not saying this is bad, but I'm saying that's just one possible way they could do it, do it. And given how they've been treating Zack Ryder recently, it's been making me think. Full Zack Ryder by a, how they're treating Zack Ryder by pretty much two weeks. Hmm. It could be a red herring. It could Zack Ryder is only in this match because Neville got hurt. They're, but they're still doing quite a bit if, with him. Even if he is to just take take his place, he didn't have to be in the same, I in can the be same per- role, taking over for Neville and t- just like messing with uh, Kevin Owens or Jericho or whatever. I could be perfectly honest. I'm not a huge fan of this match. The entire match as it is? Yeah. Ooh, I why? don't... I honestly don't want another ladder match right now. I actually like... If it was just uh, Owens versus Zayn versus Ziggler versus Miz in a fatal four-way, I would have liked that match better. Yeah, that I felt that this that's ma- what they were match, going for. This match, and then the fact that they threw in Stardust, <coughs> Sin Cara, and Zack Ryder in just because... <coughs> really, just because. They just wanted to throw names in. Because they wanted a big multi-man match, and honestly, I, I think it actually hurt the match. In my opinion, you're not wrong. And I, f- and I feel like I'm uh, siding with Brian that the feud with Zayn and Owens does need the title. It helps elevate them, and it helps elevate the title, and it makes makes some instead of just a personal grudge, it makes them actually both fighting for something. I'm not saying that this is. I'm not saying it needs. It doesn't need the title. I'm, actually, yeah, that is one. That thing. is what you yeah, said. That is, you yeah. said. <laughs> yeah, you, you made that perfectly well, clear. Well, yeah, I did, and I. St- I'm still going to hold to that. It does not need the title. It can be good without oh, it. I'm not I saying just, it doesn't I, have its uses. I'm not saying it can't help. I can't say. I'm not saying it doesn't add another dimension. But I think you really na- nailed it when you said. Make in Kevin Owens' mind, you make it about the title. He's a prize fighter. You deny him his prize because you saw how it was when he feuded with Dean Ambrose. That was that delivery was awesome. I'll say but, this, but ultimately, let me just clarify my position real quick in like two seconds. This is, I totally agree with you, fool. It the, the prize fighter does need to be denied his prize. The question I'm wrestling with is. Does his rival need to own the prize, or does his rival just need to cost him the prize? I understand your point. I do not like your choice. I don't like your choice either. My my, the whole thing is to clarify, okay. To clarify: this is not my choice as far as the winner of the match. It's the most like in my eyes. It's the most likely choice if the winner is not Sami Zayn. I just feel like. Zack Ryder, Sin Cara, and Stardust. Stardust are there to be the spot monkeys. They weren't supposed to be in the match to begin with. I, agree I think with you. I think that if you're gonna give the title to someone other than Zayn or Owens. Owens, it's gotta be one of the other two who were actually big in the feud for the entire time. Not someone who was hot shotted into the match in the last two weeks. It's got to be the Miz or Ziggler who are going to take the title instead of... Because they've been... They've been... And and honestly, even Ziggler's only been in it for about three weeks. Even, even in the question. I, I think that if you're going to do it, you have Kevin Owens and, the, and Sami Zayn take each other out. And Miz, being the opportunist that he is, says, All right, mine. <laughs> Because he's been he's been the third cog in this feud that isn't Neville. Like I think that Ziggler's only 
I think that Ziggler was the replacement for Neville. To tell you the complete possible. truth. No, it, it, was, so, it's, it, it was confirmed. Ryder's only in there. Everyone else was meant to be in this match yeah. except Ryder. So I, I think that if, if you're going to do what you said, okay, you have it be someone who is in the feud to begin with. Not someone who was put in in the last two weeks. Have someone who has been like, I should have the shot during that during that during that SmackDown promo when it was Neville and Zayn versus Owens and um, Miz and Miz. Those are the four who should uh, and Ziggler because because at that point he stepped in to take Neville's. On screen, raw place. Hmm. For so, the other three were just placed in the match. They're there to do their spots, get taken out, and do their thing. If, for me, it's got to be between Owen, Zayn, and Miss. I'm and I don't think and, and, I don't think any other people you mentioned have even in their weeks have had quite enough build. To really solidify that in my eyes. Like, if it's not... In my eyes, if it's not... If they don't pull a red herring and on me... If red, if Zack Ryder is just a, a red herring at this point... And I think it's a good chances are good that everyone else in this match is... I think it's going to go to Sami Zayn. But if we're talking of traditional WWE booking... I think we've got, we've got a shot at this. And then ultimately the feud carries on between Sami Zayn and uh, and Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental Title. But we can all agree I'm on still one taking thing. The right? bold, I'm still taking the bold pick. I'm going, oh no doubt. I'm going to do the long shot. I'm still going to say Zack Ryder. But we can all agree on one thing, right? This opens the show. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. opening the show yeah. again. I think I think uh, I agree with you when you said it's sort of like it's sort of becoming a recurring thing. The Intercontinental Title sh- Title Ladder Match. I hope this is the last one of these that they do for a while because I really, really I'm, don't want it to get too samey. I don't. I'm just getting tired of the la- multi man ladder matches. Period. Just bring the mo- just, just bring the money in the bank match back to WrestleMania. There you go, where it belongs. Then Problem it would be. Like, then it would be like, all right, so we don't have an entire pay per view based around money in the bank. Why? But, but I'm gonna I'm <coughs> gonna stay the for me the most logical choice. Looking at all of these guys. It's gonna end up being Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens is gonna be the one taking the be- taking the win and the belt, mm. keeping it. Because I think I think Sami Zayn is gonna be the ultimate chaser. He's gonna be the new Daniel Bryan. Maybe not great as a champ, but he's gonna be the ultimate chaser. And when you have the ultimate douchebag, his ultimate rival, as Kevin Owens, I think that that I think that that's a fantastic story. It is. Going forward, so I'm I'm like, I I well, see I see your points. I see your points. But the one thing they can't do is do it the same way they handled Daniel Bryan because there were a lot of missteps. Oh yeah, no doubt. All they need to do really is just replicate what they did with uh, the two of them in Ring of Honor. Like even though Sami Zayn is a bit of a smaller dude, he's got the whole heart and ferocity thing going on, and he could take as much as he gave. Yeah. So, again, it doesn't have to be the exact same way. I'm not saying you're wrong. But I'm not. All I ultimately want from this feud is just get just do something different with it. Just do something different. And, and just, I am really just freshen it up. I am really, really, really hoping you are wrong. Jeff, I'm hoping you're. I don't He's want. Not, you're hoping they don't freshen I, it up. No, 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 no. I, I don't want that Zack Ryder Ryder is the intercontinental. No, no, yeah, I Zach, get that. I'm that like, I don't want. The focus of the ma- look. The focus of this whole thing was never on Zack Ryder. The focus of the thing has always been on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Yes, yes. But the you fact may disagree that you're... on the, the, the possibility. I would like to see, or maybe even think, might possibly happen. But the fact of the matter is, no matter who wins this match. The end result is still going to be forwarding the storyline of Sami Kevin Zane Owens and Ke- Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I think we oh, can all yeah. agree on that. That we can agree yeah. on. Yeah. Yep. How we get there? I think the title is going to stay in with them, not be uh, thrown into 
of someone completely random who has no storyline and no feud going in. But then after again, Mania. the whole reason I'm saying Zack Ryder is because they're sort of like subtly creeping him in, like getting these upset wins, mentioning it over and over and over again. He's making a big old fuss. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but again, th- to me, there's enough there, but I can certainly see why you would think otherwise. I think you're seeing too much. I'll end it with that. I see a lot of things. We, I, we shall agree to disagree on this one. We're going to find out we'll on Sunday, Sunday anyway. So Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right. Speak, going from one multi-man match to a multi-women match. Oh, we, joy. Team Total <laughs> Divas, whatever. Team Total Divas versus Team Evil Divas. Team Bad and Blonde and I don't give whoever. a shit. And I'm calling Team Evil Divas. I don't, really? I honestly don't care. I'm not going to... I'm actually... Here's, here's, I think they're setting it up to I, do I, Team Total Divas. Here's here's the deal. The only reason they do that is because Brie Bella is retiring like exactly. in the next couple weeks. Exactly. So she might pull out the win. But this is also Lana's first match. That's why she's not going to take the pin. There you go. I, so so who, who, who is Brie Bella going to pin? Summer Rae. Oh boy! See I, how? Roll I off. thought they were on the same team. No, what, no, 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 they're on the opposite teams. No, Summer Rae's a heel. It's, but she's it, a total diva, isn't she? No, yeah, I mean, but no wait, one likes her on the wait, show. I thought she was. I thought she was. Wait, why are we caring? <laughs> oh my god! No, because it's I, a WrestleMania match. It's a stupid WrestleMania match. Okay, yeah, but you know what? Talk about team Total Divas. Moving. I don't want to talk about this stupid thing anymore. Are you telling me you don't want to talk about Eva Marie? I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. That's why I'm, I'm calling hell no. That's why I'm calling Team Evil Divas because I can't, in my right mind, root for a team. And and Eva, this is from the heart right here. I can't predict a win for a team that has Eva Marie on it. <laughs> so ordinarily, team Evil I, ordinarily, if we're going strictly on opinion, I'd agree with you. But the, fact that, but the fact that Brie Bella is retiring. Nyvon wasn't even go go there, but I was also going to say... WWE is high on her. They're on, high on something else. <laughs> actually, I was going to say Did that... Did you see the report that they weren't happy with actually, the fans? Well, they for, weren't happy with her, so they whatever. thought that They thought that Eva Marie just, was going to be returning... As a baby, baby face. Baby face. And the, and yeah, the, no. and the WWE nope. was angry when the crowd booed when her When no one the likes her on the show, no one likes her in the fans. And... Well, we knew, we know that the WWE like, is out of touch. Hell, they were, <laughs> ho- they were hoping that it was only the NXT crowd that hates Eva Marie, but the mainstream crowd loves, the main roster crowd loves her, but they're, no, they're out no. of their minds. No, no, no. no. I'm going Team Evil Davis on principle. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I would like to go Team Evil Divas just because I like em- Evil Emma and Summer Rae. I've always liked her, but in if I'm going for points with this one, I'm my gut once again says Total Divas. Just, I'm just, I'm just, just because Brie Bell's leaving. Not even just that, because WWE is always high on Total Divas. As much as as much as we don't want to admit it, they love the whole idea of Total Divas. So. Whatever. Whatever. Moving on. I I have a headache. I want to okay. punch a wall. Well, please don't punch my wall. How about instead we talk about a match that is relatively easy to predict: AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. I also I actually don't know if this is as easy to predict as you think it is. Really? It depends on when Chris Jericho leaves. He's actually because leaving after Mania. It's confirmed. But that's what I've read. Okay, because yeah. if he, even if he wasn't, I don't see how he, AJ Styles loses. Wow, Typical WWE booking. Okay, AJ Styles is going in with the upper hand. Yeah. Typical WWE booking states that means the person with the upper upper hand loses. However, however okay, however, listening. if you are right and he's leaving immediately after WrestleMania, yeah, AJ Styles wins. Duh. Even if he But wasn't... I can see I can see Chris Jericho as the heel if if they for a gimmick match at Extreme Rules him leaving then 
which in that case, in order to get that over, AJ Styles won at Fastlane. Chris Jer- and they can continue the feud with Chris Jericho stealing AJ Styles' WrestleMania moment, and that pisses him off enough to to set up a gimmick match in which AJ Styles just beats the ever loving tar out of Chris Jericho, sending him on his way. It depends on, for me, it depends on exactly when Chris Jericho is leaving. From what I've read, this is actually supposed to be the ending part of their feud. Yeah, and even and if okay, Jericho if that's was the leaving. Case, if that's the case and he's leaving, yeah. then AJ Styles wins. Plus, they, they're also going to want to put over AJ Styles big time since this is a real big show. It's a real big deal. This is the prime opportunity to get him over. or not, More over. or Yeah. He's already over, just to really solidify him in the role that he's at. This will get. This will give him his opportunity to meet John Cena and Randy Orton. If, so, if you actually, put, you, you read that interview. Yeah, <laughs> I will put. I will put down as my pick AJ Styles, but I will not be surprised. You won't. If I will not be surprised if if Jericho steals his WrestleMania moment and they set up a huge gimmick match. A gimmick match is what I wanted for this match. I've had enough of one-on-one singles contests with AJ Styles and Chris Jericho. Give, I'm, give me some. This will be the me last some, one. Give me some. Maybe give me a two out of three falls. That'll be the if he, assuming that uh, they have another month to, for this whole feud. I'm betting next month will be it. But for now, this is what we're getting. Yeah, I and if be- and if, the, which is why I'm saying. If if Jericho is done, okay, AJ Styles wins. Okay. If if not, don't be surprised. That's it. <laughs> I actually would have loved to see an Iron Man match between these two. Hey, who yeah, knows? give him Maybe thirty minutes at the. Uh, yeah, give him just thirty ju- minutes. Just at you throwing, throwing the idea of throwing a gimmick in this two out of three falls or an Iron yeah. Man match would have been awesome. Hey, it may still happen. We'll see. In the meantime, let's get to the good stuff already. Oh, that wasn't that the good wasn't stuff? The good stuff? <laughs> More of the good stuff. The okay. better stuff. How okay. about that? You know what? I'll accept that. The better stuff, I'm talking about the Divas title match. Charlotte, Sasha Banks, the final, Becky Lynch. The final Divas title match, you mean? what I say? They're changing the title. Because they're changing back. the title to the oh, women's yeah, title? Oh, yeah, that. Yes, finally. Uh, fi- yeah, exactly. Finally, Sasha Banks can get a proper belt. Which I'm guessing that's your pick. But, and Gee, guess what? And guess what? I... D- the way it's going, my pick too. Sasha Banks. Uh, I was expecting you to be take like Becky Lynch. Oh, the emotional like side. The emotional side of me wants Becky Lynch. Okay, but but the mind side. I've I've gone emotional enough. I've gone on principle enough today with with the evil divas. I'm gonna go with my mind for the other divas match, which states, "Hey, Sasha Banks is the linchpin. Not even do. <laughs> She's Lynch the linchpin. Pin. She's the linchpin. She will get the linchpin." No, oh, Charlotte. Snap. Charlotte is the one who loses this match. Yeah. Okay. Did you just make... try and just throw dirty t- tactics at Brian? No, more like I make. I would joke pin. I place. would pin Becky Lynch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what I've read. They're actually doing with the women's title, just making it a uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Title, except just have women's championship on it. I hey, saw and a, and a white strap. Yeah. And you know what? I saw some mock-ups they had for something like that. I can see it working. It really reminds me of the old, really old uh, women's title match. The women's title Period. belt yeah. that like Alundra Blaze had. And I kind of like it. <laughs> oh. Fools, are you uh, are you making a three for three for Sasha? I'm actually not. Really? Becky. Because it's because they're bringing in the women's championship. I see them... Th- Keeping it on Charlotte, and having it after be a, and having Becky Lynch take the pin to take her out of the equation, so we can have a Sasha you Banks just, and Charlotte. You just feud. made Jeff so sad. <laughs> yeah, because I don't like anything you're. I'm gonna pull a you. I don't like anything you're saying right now, but at the same time, <laughs> now it's the they want, time, now it's making it. me think. I because can they see want it. because they're making Charlotte the Triple H of the Divas division or of the women's oh. division. Oh. Oh, so <laughs> obviously they're gonna have, and gag. it's gonna be, and it's gonna be given. Ric Flair is gonna be giving her the new belt the next night on Raw, and that's when Sasha Banks comes in. It's like you never beat me. 
Uh, you just made me sad because yeah. now I'm thinking about it. Now I went from like a hundred percent hope to like eighty percent hope. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you out. know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna stick with it, aren't you? I want be to. loyal to the waifus. Be loyal. <laughs> Don't you do it? Don't you do it? No. Move on quickly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next match. Triple H versus Roman Reigns. Oh. Should be another easy one, I think. Ugh. I Reigns. Know. Just say it. Reigns. Okay. Reigns. <laughs> I hope this doesn't close the show. I I have my doubts. but even I will laugh is... hard at the WWE brass if this is the main event. Because this has got to get booed out of the building. Because, yeah. you know... The entire match. Be- because I feel bad for Triple H. I feel bad for... I actually feel bad for Roman Reigns at this I point. I feel bad for both of them. I feel bad for Roman Reigns because you, they're you giving You know what he's supposed to do? Turn heel. Yeah. That's not his fault. None of this... None of this... Is his other fault. than his bad promo skills... Is his fault. Exactly. He's got the wrestling down. He's got the... He's... He, they're giving him attitude error shit to do, bloodying him, getting bloodied, bloodying up Triple H, throwing shit all around the backstage area, doing beating a, the crap out of him, and he's getting booed out of the building while doing it. Doing it's a pretty, bad. doing a pretty badass leap onto yeah. a whole crowd, and the chant and the fans still chant, "You still suck." Yeah, <laughs> creative, creative, yeah. creative has killed this they guy. They forced him into the John Cena role, and no one likes the John Cena role. We might like John Cena, but we don't, but like, we the don't like the John Cena role. Creative, Nobody does. Creative has ruined Roman Reigns so badly. The only thing for him to I've, do... The only thing for him to do is turn heel, and it's WWE Creative, so they won't do it. The, so, <laughs> yeah, the best thing for Roman Reigns to do right now is turn heel and have him be his own mic, uh, promo maker. What I would love... The Rock needs a spot on the show, right? Mm. Okay. He comes out to congratulate Roman Reigns on his title win. Okay. And Roman Reigns just spears the shit out of The Rock. Saying, I don't need you. I don't need you. The Usos come out. What the hell are you doing? Spears both of them. I don't need my family. Look at what I've got. I'm the champion. No, no, no. <laughs> Take the Usos out. We don't need the Usos. We have The Rock come in and celebrate. We have the whole confetti. He's like, oh, good triumphs over evil. He celebrates. And then The Rock goes on the tur- the turnbuckle, does his rock thing. He turns around into a spear. And then, and then, and then it just, Roman Reigns goes all... And I could be goes perfectly all snorting honest. snorting bulldog on... <laughs> I could be perfectly honest. If he did do that, I think the fans would cheer. The fans would cheer because they would be like, yes, you took him out of the John Cena spot. The, fan, you, the fans doing, in Texas. You were yeah. doing something that he should be doing. Either way, he'll either get him over or make him an interesting character as a heel. No matter what. It's Both. Still, yeah. No matter what, it still seems like a positive move for the guy. If they keep yeah. him face, it won't. If they keep him this bland, it won't. Because even if he starts spearing the rock or spearing his cousins or doing something, it's... It'll, it won't. Hell, it won't mat, It won't matter if he's a face or a heel. It'll matter whether or not he's over or Cause, more over. Because I would have said Dean Ambrose, but he's getting the tar beat out of him, so I don't know if he's going to be. You know what? Like up for it? And do I? Do, he, yeah. <laughs> I could say like I can just have him spear the rock, and then he he explains that the, like he'll do the whole thing. The rock is trying to steal my spotlight. Cause I'm the one who is the champion, not you, him. You want a WrestleMania moment? That'll do it. <laughs> That'll be his, that would be his moment. That'll be Roman Reigns standing over a broken rock. <laughs> That'll be something. <laughs> yeah. Holding the title up, <laughs> holding the title up. Rock. Not even style. just standing. Not even just standing over the rock. Putting the, his foot on the rock's head there. with the t- with the title. Yeah. In. Now you're thinking. That's yeah. that's what he needs world. to do. Even. Yeah. That's what he needs. I agree wholeheartedly. If he does do that, I will be very happy because we've all said it. It's not Roman Reigns' fault he's getting booed. 
It's because of how WWE creative is what what they're doing to him. What they're having him say, what they're having him do. They're invincibility star. Yeah, I this to him just pulling an ultimate heel against his family and then just adding insult to injury by pressing his foot on the rock's head. Cuz as I've been saying as I've been saying for weeks Okay, they're giving him all this attitude error stuff to do. All this stuff that anybody else on the roster would be getting cheered for. And he's getting booed out of the building. So it's time to capitalize on that. Because we need, we just need a difference in focus and attitude yeah. towards Roman Reigns it, on a corporate it needs, level. They need to capitalize on that. Because Roman Reigns as a heel, in the spot that we just said, equals money. Okay, I agree. It, so it would help it. him in the long run. It, it would actually elevate him to a level where their WWE is hoping he would be now. And th- yeah. and then he just needs to cut that one promo and then just be the silent assassin. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Done deal. Yep. We'll see. We'll see on Sunday whether or not they actually take that route. In the meantime, let's see them. Let's see that they'll actually be smart. Yes. Speaking of who we were just talking about earlier. Let's talk about what I think is probably going to be my match of the night. Dean Shane Ambrose McMahon versus The Undertaker? No, Dean Ambrose <laughs> versus Brock Lesnar. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to be Dean Ambrose's rise to fame. I'm ca- I'm calling Dean Ambrose, this is Dean Ambrose's rise to the main event. Win or lose. But I think he For should win. He my- needs a win. I just feel like they're building it up. They're giving him all these weapons. He's gonna do. He's gonna do. He's gonna go for one too many. You know what I mean? That that's how I'm feeling. They're give, People are coming out, giving him all these weapons. Like I can see him getting a shot with with Barbie, and and then he goes for the. If he goes for the chainsaw, okay. If he goes for the chainsaw, that's when he loses. Okay, because that's that's when Brock Lesnar that's when Brock Lesnar goes all wild animal and just kills him. In my mind, it depends on what kind of sh- what kind of spot they want to do with that. But anyway, go ahead, fool. Am I the only one that actually didn't like Terry Funk giving him the chainsaw? I was like, how so? I just feel like I feel like it kind of devalued Mick Foley, quote unquote, passing the torch with Barbie. I can sort of see that. I feel like if they just left it with Foley giving him Barbie. It would it makes more of an impact for Dean Ambrose, but then you throw in Terry Funk, who was kind of talking nonsense. I, I, know, I, I, went ju- a he, I don't even it. know. If what... it had just been Mick Foley, I'd be more in the Dean Ambrose is going to win with a shot from Barbie. But because now they bought in the chainsaw, it's in the back of my head that he's going to go for the chainsaw, and that's going to be his I... downfall. Because they're not going to allow a chainsaw to be used (laughs) at WrestleMania. Honestly, (laughs) I'm just thinking about something here. Do you remember that CZW death match with with that guy Brain Damage? Yes, yes, I do. Do you know the spot I'm I'm thinking of right now? Yes, I do. They had a gimmicked, uh, what was it, a a gimmicked uh, little hand saw, like an electric saw. That it looked really nasty, but as soon as the guy put it to Dean Ambrose's head, it just sort of spread all the blood around that was already there. There was no, like, it, it, the blade was entirely dull. There was nothing to it. It was, like, super soft. And but that just, would be perfectly fine if, if if you actually didn't see it's a real fucking chainsaw. <laughs> they bring a different chainsaw. I don't think the chainsaw is going to be used at all in this. If anything, you're going to see him try to get Brock Lesnar on the table, on the announcer's table, and Brock moves out of the way and he cuts the announcer's table. Yeah. That's the only yeah, thing I can be. see Real, him doing. Realistically, there's no way he's going to rip out a real chainsaw. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> oh, God, that... Terry Funk was is so old. <laughs> he's so old and senile. And I'm just like, wow, you gave him the chainsaw. Wow, you kind of... Ugh. octogenarian and crazy but if you're passing the torch and this is Mick Foley's rise to fame was just coming up short against the Undertaker in the Hell in a Cell mm-hmm. Take, taking all kinds of damage and doing that 
if you're passing the torch from Mick Foley to Dean Ambrose, I can see the same thing. I... He puts up a magnificent fight. Okay, he just won't stay down. He goes through all this crap and and just comes up short. But that's his uh, but that's his But that's Mick Foley's legacy. Yeah. It's not necessarily Terry Funk's and it's actually the inclusion of Terry Funk that really doesn't if it was just Mick Foley then maybe I'd say you have more of a point. But it's the inclusion of Terry Funk that makes me that encourages me that they're putting a, they're pushing him in a different direction. Not so much as the success for the successor of the Mick Foley's legacy per se, but more as a stamp of approval as far as this is WWE's new hardcore icon for this generation. I will at least that's what they're going for. I will say this. I will love it. I will jump off of my couch and scream in glee if Dean Ambrose beats Brock Lesnar. Okay. Then personally, but, I think you're going to get ready to scream with glee. But I'm going the Mick Foley route and saying he'll put up a magnificent fight, but he'll do something dumb and Brock Lesnar will Brock Brock Lesnar will eke out a victory, Undertaker style. And this will be Dean Ambrose's Hell in a Cell moment. Alright, so I'm so saying I'm, Dean Ambrose, you're going Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Fool, what do you like? I'm only going, I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose only because how many times can Dean Ambrose lose big matches? Right. He's lost the past two. Let's see. He lo- he lost Fast Lane. He lost Roadblock. He lost his match with Seth Rollins. There's just so many times he can come out on the short the short end. The Hell in a Cell match with Seth Rollins. <laughs> the yeah, he's just just been coming down like the short end of the stick for far too long. And if they really want to push him to the main event status, him beating Brock Lesnar is the best thing. But Here's the thing. I don't think he's going to like he's going to win 100% clean. Well, yeah, it's not 100% clean. It's a, yeah, it's it's a street, street fight. fight. Oh, it's a street fight oh, for God's sake. Oh, now I'm thinking. Wyatt. I'm thinking we're going to have an right. interference from the Wyatt family. It's right. going to take Brock Lesnar out for a short while because for the past couple of WrestleManias, Brock Lesnar disappears. He takes a break. This is usually his vacation time. I I The Wyatt family will take out Brock Lesnar. I am I I don't have anything to block my mouth this time. You I forgot all about the Wyatt family. I forgot so all about them. I forgot all about them. So yeah. Dean Ambrose wins via help from the Wyatt family. So it's unanimous then, Dean Ambrose. Let's go Dean. Dean and this will leading leading into Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Like Dean Ambrose takes the win. Yeah! Yeah! I was, okay. I was like, wow. Brain fart. I forgot all about the wife. Yeah, honestly, so did I. But you know I, didn't, I, I haven't forgot about well, Uncle Bray. we don't know where the rest of the family is going to be, hey, they could show like up Like I said, they have, they're not, they're not going to be in any match on the card this year. Unless we have, like, uh, Eric Rowan and Braun Strowman. And no, but you nope. know what? Nope. You know what? If they're going to do this, if they're going to do this... If they're gonna do Is that this, confirmed? that's confirmed. They're sure. not in the battle royal. Okay, if then, if they're right. gonna do this, then they won't show up anywhere else on the card. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now, so, I think that's gonna probably be the big indicator then. If they show up any earlier, then it'll just be down to two of them. If not, it'll be a a big old brawl. Does anyone else kind of want to see Paul Heyman take a sister Abigail? Uh, yeah. I want to see them abduct Paul Heyman. Not Ooh. even, not even give him a sister Abigail. Just take him off, take her in Kane style. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> Again, there's so many different ways this can be done. Part of the ma- this is one of those like matches. matches. They beat down, Bro- they beat there's down Brock a- Lesnar enough for Dean and Ambrose Braun, to pit Braun him. Braun chokes then, out, yeah. Braun chokes out Heyman and yeah. just holds him over his shoulder because you know Again, he's a big lug. This is one of those matches to me that there's so many different ways that they can pull this off and still have it be good. 
It might not happen the way it hap- I say it's going to happen. It might not be the way that any of us say it's going to happen. But there's so many different ways they can pull it off, and it'll still be awesome. I'm so giddy just thinking about Paul Heyman getting abducted by the Wyatt family. All right. I, I need this to happen. I need it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We only have one more match on the card. Shane McMahon versus The Undertaker. Boys, how's it go? If it's the main event. Okay. Which you know I'm calling the I'm calling the Undertaker does a Shawn Michaels. I saw I'm The sorry, Undertaker I'm versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania twenty seven was the main event. It was Shawn Michaels last match. Hmm. Because he lost to the Undertaker. Now that they're pulling now that Vince McMahon has stated the if the Undertaker loses, it will be his last match. Last his last WrestleMania. It'll be his last WrestleMania match if he loses. If it's the main event, I can see Shane McMahon winning. If not, Undertaker wins. If it's the main event, I can see it 50-50. Both ways. So, I'm going with it being the main event. With Shane McMahon hiring outside help, it will be our introduction to the Bullet Club. Maybe Finn Balor. Maybe. As well. And I'm calling a Shane McMahon victory. I'm going out on a limb here. This is my out on a limb pick. All right. Having, I'm going to bounce off of what you just said. I'm going to call a Shane McMahon victory also because we know that this is more than likely going to be Undertaker's last WrestleMania. They'll probably give him some more shows between... Maybe they'll even break it down at Survivor Series just to say, okay, this is it. Send him out the way he came in. Something like that. But as far as what's going on with this story, I agree with you. I think Shane McMahon is going to win due to interference from the Bullet Club because for the night before NXT, Finn Bal- I think Finn Balor, just touching on that very quickly, I think Finn Balor is going to drop the title to Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe has his little heel run for a while. Finn Balor gets called, called up to the main roster, leads the, the Balor Club or the bu- Bulletproof or whatever they're going to call their version of the Bullet Club. Those guys are going to run interference. They're going to show up at WrestleMania. And that'll actually... Actually, you know what? I think that's what they're going to do. Finn Balor and the Balor Club are going to show up. They're, that's going to be their big debut. Uh, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows are going to join the ranks of the tag division. And then now set up a Finn Balor versus Undertaker feud which is probably going to be the last feud for the Undertaker, and then they ultimately pull pull off, you know, Demon versus the Dead Man, and they put, and then they put that'll be the match where they put over Finn Balor, shake some hands, and then let the Dead Man ride off into the sunset. But I think that's going to be the catalyst for the last chapter of the Undertaker, mm-hmm. while simultaneously setting up a future megastar. What do you I'm, think? I'm not sold. I see Shane McMahon winning, but I don't. Oh, see, I don't see the Balor Bullet Club interfering because that would insinuate Shane McMahon has to turn heel. Do you think? Do you think that? Well, I would. I think. I think, it, I think, I think Vince McMahon's going to accidentally accidentally cause Taker the match again. I. But I what if they're you. working together? What okay. if Vince and Shane are working together? <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't see them turning Shane fa- uh, face turning him heel. If anything, yet. Right. And I think that was my original complaint when I first got started. And, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, it's gonna be an, like, Undertake, Vince McMahon's gonna come in, basically try and bark orders to Taker, Taker tombstones or choke slams Vince, and Shane McMahon, just out of nowhere, bloody and beat up, will just sneak in a pin on The Undertaker. And, I I just, I'm gonna say the next, the next night on Raw, is when we see the debut of Finn Balor and the Bullet Club with um, them standing up against 
Stephanie McMahon and Triple H when them with Shane telling them to get out of his ring. What but I don't honestly... want to see though, what I don't want to see is the Undertaker's last match, like the Undertaker's last WrestleMania match, one via roll up or it won't be. She, well, the, the well, way it's not that going you're... to be it. I can sit, easily say, see them saying a. Uh, it was going to be one... Rock and Cena was going to be once in a lifetime. And look what happened in that very next year. This is... I, I seriously doubt it's going to be Taker's last WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not at all convinced. Yeah, so this is... Again... Hell, I can, even, I can easily I see this. Shane saying, what my father said about this being your last WrestleMania... I'm not accepting that. I'm in charge of. I'm in charge someone of everything actually, that's going on. Someone yeah, actually brought that, that up. Too. It's like there's nothing. If Shane McMahon wins, there's nothing to stop him from overturning that like the next day. Exactly. Yeah, you can be on my. You, you can be on my brand. Yeah. So I really honestly since they're talking about since they're talking about a brand split again. Yeah. And again, I don't know <laughs> if that that could easily be just like stupid WWE booking or stupid Mr. McMahon character on screen booking or. This is honestly just the way they're going with it. I don't know. But we all agree on one thing about this match, if I'm correct. Shane McMahon wins. Shane McMahon wins. Shane McMahon wins, absolutely. But I'm saying Balor and Bullet Club debut tomorrow yeah. on the next honestly, night on Raw. The only reason Closing the show. Up, I saw, again, the only reason I even went along with that just because I heard... Finn Balor, Bullet Club, and I just got a little giddy. I mean, come on. No, who, I'm, I'm you want to like, see Finn Balor stand face-to-face with Triple H? No. I, I just I just I do. don't know how Shane was, McMahon as opposed to like the Undertaker not de- not Demon just him st- coming out yeah I thought you were going as, not I Demon just, never not mind, Demon never mind. Mind. I just don't know how Shane McMahon wins without some kind of massive outside help that isn't Vince McMahon that well, I guess isn't we're gonna Vince have to find out on this stupid. Sunday at WrestleMania <laughs> Live on the <laughs> WWE <laughs> Network someone someone coming in interfering for Shane. Feel for me, it feels like a heel thing that would turn Shane heel, and I don't. And and you're right. I, I, don't I just see don't doing it. I just don't feel like it would be a heel thing because it's against Vince McMahon. It's not against the Undertaker. It's against but Vince McMahon. But it's also McMahon. in Texas, it and you better believe is. people it's are going to be cheering. It's still technically yeah. against the te- the Undertaker. Which but, honestly, again, I don't mean to cut you off excessively, but you're bringing me back to the point where that when I was at where this match was first announced, where if they just do it the traditional way, you know, it's going to be lose-lose. Unless they come up with some sort of unique outcome or unique way this ends, it seems like either... Come on, we all got to see that Shane McMahon dive lose. chair shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it said that's not just, coming. Jumps in the air, jumps in the air, chair shot, Superman! <laughs> chair shot. <laughs> yeah. I missed that. I missed that Shane McMahon chair shot. I got nothing else to Are say we about. getting... An elbow drop from the top of the cell. Mm, considering how high the hell in a cell is, if he did that, he would probably die. It, maybe if they made a, a lower cell. Or if they gave him something nice to crash on, maybe. But again, I don't know. That's not Undertaker in the announce table. <laughs> yeah, if he did that, like, Mick Foley almost died when he did it. Now that the cell is higher, there's no way he can physically do that and live. Well, Shane McMahon did jump off. Well, how big? How big he was that stage? Jumped off the top of the freaking Titan Tron onto a pile of foam. Still, and again, pl- I and don't a five hundred pound man. <laughs> I don't know what they've got in mind. There was plenty of cushion. There. <laughs> I like I like that meme that popped up today of uh, when Taker sat up of the elbow drop through the announce table. I gotta jump. To, I gotta go up somewhere higher. And you see him like in space on a satellite, <laughs> dropping an elbow. <laughs> of course he is. Yeah, they're gonna pull something crazy. We know that. It's just a matter of. I think this is the, gonna be the pay per view of. We hopefully even if we know what we're going to see. We don't know how we're going to see it. If that makes sense. Hopefully Shane doesn't die. Yeah, just whatever you do, Since please he... don't die, Shane. Yeah. All right, so that's WrestleMania. Ooh, wow, there was a lot there. Need Again. some clear liquid. Yeah, really. You know, it's a good show when we agree on almost nothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you know what? The the prediction cards for the scorecards for this year are going to be absolutely insane. Oh, my Lord. And you know what? Before we're getting any of this, we're going to get 
one of my favorite things in the whole entire world at TakeOver. Shinsuke! I was going to say Asuka. Oh, going up against too. Bailey. That too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It'll be like, happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> It uh, will be a happy over. birthday to me. Takeover is going to be awesome. And I'm telling you right now, if... Nakamura wins. Yeah. <laughs> Not... Birthday weekend, motherfucker. <laughs> and by the way, did you did you guys hear this according to the uh, the printed programs for NXT? Apparently, they're just, they're just going to be calling him Nakamura. That's I actually did not know that, yeah, but that, you know what? It makes that's sense. That's not a problem. I it's not my favorite, but you know what? Compared to what they could have done... It's it's okay. No. I, I can be I can live with this. Put him in a mask and call him Kenji. <laughs> there you go. That would have been horrible. Yeah. As long as we're not calling him like you know what? Suzuki not... Nintendo or something stupid yeah. like you that. You know what? A lot of people just call him Nakamura anyway. Exactly. I'm, so, it's not so that it's surprising. Okay. I'm telling you what, if they if the shirt they release with him is any good and it looks like they're treating him well, I'll get the shirt day one. I'm telling you that right now. Well, I, I think they're pre- I think they're treating him well, giving his first match with Sami Zayn. Come on, yeah. Now. <laughs> and if the shirt is any good, I'm going to grab it tomorrow. I, I don't care. Yeah. But you know what? You all, we we already talked at length about what we think. We want to know what you, the internet fan base, and just the listeners of the show, all think. So you know what? Drop us a line at the usual spots. Leave a comment on this video. Like if you like what you hear. Subscribe if you want to hear more. You can also like our Facebook page. Just run a search for the Scholars of Wrestling show. And, of course, you can always join the conver- the live conversation by following us on Twitter. You can follow our main account at ScholarsOW. Fool, where can they reach you at? I'm at the Avataric. And other guy. Flappy Bob, what's up? At Atomic Beanpole. Atomic Beanpole. And I... I'm Robbie Rage, at I am Robbie Rage, all one word. Dig it. <laughs> yeah, we are going I know I'm going to be live tweeting the entire show. It's just so much fun to see, like, in real time, all the conversations as it's happening with the people. I'm, I'm going to be with most of you guys. Uh, Brian, I think you're going to be someplace else. I am going to be someplace else. All right. yeah. Either way, I love the live conversations and just the live interaction. It's part of the fun of, even if the show is, like, a regular blah sort of like B pay per view. I love the conversations that come out of it, and the, the WrestleMania shows they're always great. Even though they're, even if yeah. they're not great by WrestleMania standards, I think this one's going to be great. I think it's going to be a great time watching it, no matter what. Whew. Well, yeah, that, that a took a lot out of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's WrestleMania Breathe. season. WrestleMania hype. Breathe. Jeff. Hey, you know who we are. You know what we're about. We are the scholars of wrestling, and you have just been schooled. You're welcome. What time is it? WrestleMania, baby! Woo! WrestleMania, baby! Woo! WrestleMania, baby! Woo!